do subscribe to Ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering, HSC and IIT JE main and advanced videos. When I say that E. coli or yeast is a pathogen, whereas your malarian protozoa is a parasite, what is the difference between two? Parasites or malarial parasites basically live in or on the body of the host. They derive all the nutrition from the host and cannot live independently. They always need a host body or a residing body to just stay. Also, this malarian parasites, protozoans, helminthes, ascaris are all parasites. They will feed all the nutrition that is present in the host, take nutritional values from the host and eventually grow. Whereas your pathogens that is E. coli, yeast, all of them, they do not live on host they don't need a living body just to reside they can live independently especially e coli e coli is also present in soil in atmosphere certain yeast can even grow on the tree trunks they can even grow without the presence of an host these organisms can synthesize their own food with the help of raw materials which are present around them they don't need host they are totally independent of the host only the causative agents or causative forms or you can say the one that causes infection need a host to grow and proliferate Pathogens are basically living agents that are capable of causing disease. It's not necessary that every pathogen that's present will cause a disease. For example, the E. coli that lives in your stomach is a gut friendly E. coli that will not cause your disease. But if its population grows beyond a certain region, then it can cause a disease. Similarly, the Candida albicans, which is a form of yeast, which is a pathogen, can cause a disease if it grows above a certain level. So these pathogenic agents can live independently. They don't need always a host to survive or to thrive. For example, certain E. coli that are present in the soil or in the atmosphere can thrive irrespective of the host present or not present. They include bacteria, viruses, for example, rhinovirus, which is always evidently present inside atmosphere and never hardly needs a host to survive. Fungi, yeast, Whereas parasites are those organisms that live in or an organism and take nourishment or nutrition from it. For example, the malarial protozoal parasite. It lives inside human host. Whenever you get a malaria infection, the female anopheles mosquito consisting of the protozoan bites and human individual. And it is transferred inside the human host, reaches to the liver, does its multiplication and obtain nutrition from the human host. These individuals or parasites can never live independently then always need a host to survive and thrive especially for their food requirements an example of this parasites would include protozoans and helminths and when you talk about helminths they may include ascaris they may include amoebiosis entamoeba histolytica now all of this organism whether it is malaria protozoal or you can talk about ascaris entamoeba histolytica every them of them need a human host to survive Basically, they need nutrition from the human host to survive, grow, multiply and carry out the life cycle, which is not always true in the case of pathogens. They can survive also of their own at certain point of time. So students, this was about pathogens as well as parasites. I hope you all are clear about this concept. Thank you.